Today I'm at Leeds Golf Club doing some testing so I can stay nice and warm here in their golf cave. Now I've got the new Callaway Apex Hybrids here to test out and I have to say I'm really excited about these. Not only do they look really good, they're also quite different so they're gonna give a good offering to people who want different shapes and styling and have different preferences. And I have to say I'm really surprised just how much I like the Pro offering. Typically I don't like an iron like more square hybrid but this has really caught my eye. Today I'm gonna be taking a look at just how these two perform. How do they stack up compared to each other and which model would be right for your game? Right, I'm gonna start with the Pro because to be honest, I just can't wait to hit it any longer. I've got an 80 gram stiff shaft in this and it's a 20 degree three hybrid head. Not bad for a first shot. This does feel a little stiffer than I'm used to, but it still had a pretty good ball flight. Definitely the shot shape I'd like to see and a decent amount of height, so I'm going to keep hitting a few more and see what we see. Ooh, flush that. Okay, that carried. How about that carried? Okay, so that carried 191 yards and I'm pretty happy with that given that this is probably a heavier shaft than I would normally use. So I think if I went into back into my normal shaft, I would get a little bit more distance. But typically with a three hybrid anyway, this is 20 degrees, so it's not quite as strong as my three hybrid, which is at 19. I would expect mine to go about 200 yards. So really it's not that far off given that it's a weaker loft and also a stronger shaft. Data aside, I'm seriously impressed with the feel of this. That shot felt incredible. I have to say, these have been ridiculously consistent in terms of launch characteristics. I mean, look at those first four shots there. You can barely pick them apart. Having said that, I think that's definitely what I would have expected from this model. It is all about control, workability. So even though it's gonna give you that versatility to hit different shot shapes if you want, I think in terms of a stock shot, it's definitely designed to give you that control and precision that kind of the tall players are gonna want. Oh, that sounded so good. A little bit more of a fade than the others. Okay, that shot was pretty interesting because I didn't really strike it that good at all. I left it out quite a bit to the right, but then my distance was still up at 184 yards. So I think in terms of forgiveness, that's not actually that bad. I know it's obviously a, some drop off in distance, but I think for me personally, I would have expected a model like this, that's definitely suited for tall players, to have seen a much bigger drop off in ball speed and distance on an off center strike than that. Not gonna lie, I'm seriously enjoying hitting this. Okay, so let's take a look at the data here. I've hit quite a few shots now and I have to say in terms of ball flight, I was really impressed with this. I felt like it was really well controlled. I lost one shot out to the right, but really it wasn't that bad in terms of ball speed and carry distance drop off. The dispersion was actually really interesting because I think people have this belief or worry that they're gonna miss hybrids left. And I actually didn't find that at all with this model. I think there was only one ball out of my whole testing that was left at the center of the fairway. So really I did find if anything, my bad shot was moving a bit more left to right. And I think typically that is what a better player would prefer from a hybrid. Now in terms of distance, my average carry came out at 188. I would say this is pretty on the mark. With my hybrid, I would expect about 195 to 200 on my best shots. And with this, I got 193 on my best shot. And this is one degree weaker, so it's definitely up there in terms of distance. Now in terms of forgiveness, obviously this isn't designed to be the most forgiving, but from a ball speed point of view and a carry distance point of view, my furthest shot was at 193 and my shortest was at 184. So really front to back, that's not all that bad at all. And I definitely wouldn't have expected it to be that consistent really, given kind of the small size of the head. I would say if anything, the spin was probably slightly more inconsistent than I would have expected. It came out 
at just over 3,000, which on average is fine, but I did have a few dropping down to kind of 2,200 and some up at 4,000. But then again, I think a lot of this is gonna do with the shaft offering and obviously I haven't been fit for this one. So overall, I wouldn't really worry about that too much at this point. Anyway, I'm gonna go hit a few shots with the standard Apex model now and see how the two compare. Now this is quite interesting to look at over the ball because although it's a bit bigger and a lot more round at the back, we still have that square shape at the front. I think this is probably quite a good move from Callaway because it's different to the Maverick hybrids that we saw last year, which were a lot more kind of rounded overall. So if you had that rounded back profile, it was more, more rounded at the front as well. Now, another noticeable difference in terms of visuals is the fact that we've got the Callaway logo on the top of this for in terms of alignment and the center. And I do really like that, just feeling like you can get the ball right behind the center of the club at the dress. And also we've got a bit of a texture on the back of this club head compared to the Apex Pro, which was just completely black and simple. This feels a lot quicker off the face straight away, but I do seem to have a bit of the rights with this. Ooh. Struck that one good. Okay, so that had 1.4 smash and I felt like I absolutely ripped it and it carried 186 yards. I probably was expecting more distance out of this straight off than the Apex Pro, but then visually for me, it does look quite big behind the ball, so I don't know if I'm just not quite swinging it as fast at it as I was with the Pro. Okay. 194 there, that's more like it. Flush that one. Right, that was definitely my best shot so far with this. I felt like I struck it really well. I really liked the ball fly, it was incredibly straight and it carried 193 yards. Now obviously that's the same as we saw really the best shot with the Apex Pro and I am pretty surprised by that to be honest. I was expecting this to go probably at least five yards further. A definite advantage of this model is that even when I don't feel like I strike it perfect, I still get a really good height on my shots. So that's especially going to be important for people who are using these into par 4s and par 5s for their approach shots. So even if you don't strike it perfect, you're going to get that really nice height and a really good descent angle into the green, which means you're still going to be able to hold that ball and get it to stop on the greens. I guess I saved the best to last because I've just absolutely flushed that last ball. Now I actually got better with that club as I went along. It was quite interesting to see the increase in distance and I actually hit my furthest shot with the last ball. So it's quite interesting. Maybe I was just adapting to the club more. Now when we look at the averages, I actually ended up hitting the apex further by a grand total of one yard. I mean, I know it's not much, but it's something, right? Now actually I'm quite surprised by this. They're both three hybrids, but the apex is actually a degree stronger at 19 degrees. And there is more tech to get this ball launching higher and further, so I did expect it to go further than the Apex Pro. Having said that, I do have a tendency of hitting larger headed clubs shorter than the smaller equivalents, and I think that's just a visual thing for me. So I don't think this would be the case for everyone, and I definitely did feel on my off-center strikes that I had more ball speed with the Apex. Having said that, I did have my furthest shot of the test with the Apex at 195 yards, so there definitely is some distance in there. Now in terms of spin, the Apex was actually spinning slightly higher, not by much, only by about 300 RPM, but surprisingly it was actually a little more consistent on spin than the Apex Pro, which is definitely not what I would have expected. In terms of descent angle, again they were pretty similar, but the Apex was coming in a bit steeper, so that just means for people who are wanting to hold greens on long par 4s and par 5s, that's going to help you out a bit more because the ball's going to stop a bit quicker. I would say across the range here, Cali have done a really good job of providing a hybrid that doesn't go left. That is a big issue for lots of people when it comes to hybrids. And I think these ones with the more iron-like style are definitely going to suit those players who maybe hit a draw and don't want to have that left miss. And I think from that point of view, these are really going to appeal to a lot of people who maybe haven't considered using a hybrid before. In terms of feel, I'm a big fan of both of these, but I think with the Apex, you can definitely notice off-center strikes more just because of the bigger nature of the head. 
And to be honest, I don't mind this because I think it gives you more feedback. But definitely when you hit both of these out the middle, they have a really nice feel to them. Now, overall, if I was picking between these two, I definitely would have to pick the Apex Pro. For me, I really liked the control of it, the consistency of the shots, especially at the start. I mean, I hit four in a row that were literally almost in the same place. Now, although I liked the feel and the performance and I think the descent angle is probably a little bit better with the Apex, for me, I didn't really see enough in terms of extra ball speed and extra distance for me to want to move up to that bigger ship. Now, obviously, this isn't going to be the case for everyone, so I'd really suggest you go out and test these out and see which one is right for you. Right, those are my first thoughts on the new Callaway Apex hybrids. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below or send me a message on Twitter or Instagram. If, like me, you love the look of the new Callaway Apex iron lineup, then keep your eye on our channel for the full review coming soon. And if you're after more golf content, head to the National Club Golfer social media channels for more.